give me an A, give me an F, give me an H, B, Y. <laughs> ask me, ask me. Oh, oh come on now, right? <laughs> I didn't mean to put you out of commission. I was give you a corn dog, too. <laughs> anyway, hey, give guys, me a corn dog. check this out. If you're into basketball, you're cooking at home, I've got a little corn dog recipe, but mine are different. It's got a little shrimp and pork. It's fun for basketball games, carnivals, events, and fairs, right? So here's how you make it. I've got some ground pork here, about a pound. Very simple. You get it at any grocery store. Looks like legislation. <laughs> that, yeah, Sausage really. Sausage made. grinder, right? So here's some <laughs> raw shrimp that I've diced up. Very, very simple. Right. Maybe a half a pound of that. Bring I'm it on, add baby. Add it to it. And Sylvia, you just keep mixing. Use hey. the spoon. Oh. And as See? I add ingredients, All you right. just kind of fold them in there. Really All give right. them some, uh, some trouble, too. Uh, a couple of tablespoons of hoisin sauce, available in the Asian section. So this is great. Of any grocery store, right? In the grocery store, no problem. In any grocery store, okay. Very good, I'm doing well. Next Folks, up. look, I'm actually cooking. That's well, right. kind of. You're mixing, I'm but mixing, you're a very good essential. mixer, right? Essential. Shallots and garlic are in there. All right. You notice mine mm -hmm. have a little Asian flair. I think it's Ooh. uh Oh man, that smells good. Ooh, yummy. Diced jalapenos. Now I could eat those just We're like We've had a lot raw. of those, right? Yeah. Now yeah. remember, if you take the seeds out, they're really not that mm. spicy. Oh, it's man, more about that good. green, fresh flavor. Yeah. Uh, chopped cilantro. Yeah, are you gonna post this? Yeah, we're gonna post the yeah. recipe on foodnewsandchews.com so you guys have all uh -huh. the amounts yeah, you sounds need. sounds great, sounds But here's great. all you gotta do is mix this up anyway, so. Scallions. Well, I'm worn out, you have to do more? <laughs> and chopped fresh ginger, don't buy any ground ginger. That stuff doesn't taste very good in my Ooh, opinion. Unless is. you're using it in a spice rub. Fresh inger is nice yeah. and pungent, spicy, kind of has that neat. Ooh, that smells really good. Really good smell, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got this, what we would call in the kitchen, this forest, this mixture of yeah. ground pork okay. and ground shrimp Have and all I these great well? ingredients. Have you I done, done well? well? Okay. So this is kind of like our hot dog, right? All right. Now. Our hot dog meat. So here's how you make it into somewhat of a sausage. Yeah. Okay, okay. you're done? I'm done. All right. If you tell me I'm done. We're gonna take some saran wrap yeah. and drape it over our cutting board. Hey, Jeremy, I was going to tell and folks. And this is going to be kind of like the sausage lining. What's we that? We went to 100,000 people attending Rep Arena for the Sweet 16. That's right. Is that all around us, too. <laughs> Yowie, kazowie. So Ooh. add your uh, your mixture, your hot dog mixture, you know, to the saran wrap. You know, out of my hands, yeah. And um, all the way across like this. Yeah. It's almost like you're making a big sausage, and, right? Uh, just a great big And the skin of the sausage sandwich. is actually the saran wrap. Yeah. Now watch this little trick. I'm going to fold this over and roll this up. Roll the sausage and shrimp up. So it becomes like a hot dog. And take the two ends of the saran wrap yeah. and then start rolling this way, right? Uh -huh. And what happens, it compresses into You're almost so cool. like a sausage, right? So that's really neat. So next up, we would use our, our sticks. Uh -huh. So we're gonna make two large corn dogs here. After we unroll uh -huh. this, Where's the corn well, part? you can Where's actually the corn part? stick this in here. Okay. Just like that. Spread it around, we'll take the saran wrap off. Now the neat part is you're just gonna use home, like any kind of cornbread mm -hmm. mixture you would have, you know, like a cornbread batter. Yeah. And we're gonna dip that in there and fry it. So let's go show them how to do it. Cornbread's a new pasta. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. All right, Sylvia, in the kitchen right, at Sawyer's, we're right? We're ready, ooh, I'm watching. We've made our uh, corn dogs, they're on the stick. Yeah, awesome. And just a simple awesome. cornbread batter is all you okay. need to do to dip them in there. Hey, can you use that on that chicken fricassee? The corn, that's a perfect recipe for this. If you go to find the recipe for a nice corn cake batter. Yeah, that's on the website, That's right? on our website, food food and shoes. Shoes. com. So once you get it coated nicely. And, and you can double up. I mean, you know, make one. Right. You're going to have to get your hands kind of messy. Yeah. And take ooh, your corn dog ooh, ooh, and just kind of drop it in there. And let that guy fry up. We'll do one more. Okay. And this is a messy process, but you want them good and soft <laughs> and gooey. I almost asked a dumb question, like how you get them out of there. Well. Hopefully you have a basket and you've thought ahead yeah, about that. Like, duh. Do not use your fingers. Do not let me in a kitchen. All right. And so don't now, let these potato chips burn. That's right. Good, so we'll let these okay. go for a minute. All right, all right. Yeah. See, they're getting nice and golden brown here. Ooh, now that's I, a good looking homemade corn dog. You shouldn't let me in a kitchen. Dog all days. Right, Sylvia. Yeah. These are our Ooh. corn dogs. Oh. Smell that, uh, awesome. Mm -mm -mm. So you'll, uh, and look how pretty. Yeah, you know, presentation's oh, a big yeah, deal. It is. So if it you're gonna serve these at a party for fun, you can kind of geek it out a little bit. A little papaya and mango and uh, pineapple. Yeah. Then I made a pineapple mustard. That's just yellow mustard pureed with fresh yeah. pineapple. How mm. good is that? So if you're gonna serve these on a tray, maybe cut the little tip off, right? Yeah. That way they have a little bit of way ooh, to stand up. Ooh, look at that, how pretty. Yeah, and just put them in your uh, 
tray, just like that. The tips looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. <laughs> oh, how cute. Yeah. This is fun uh, football food, right? Yeah, yeah, here. There you go. Here, I'll help it out until you get the next right. one. Right. And you can kind of garnish the tips with some star fruit. Oh, you are too clever. Kind of looks like a fun little thing, right? Yeah. Here. There you go. And we'll do one more. Just for fun. See if that guy Leaning stands up for us. of corn dog. So there's a fun little platter of shrimp and pork ah, corn dogs. Beautiful. Pass those out for the game. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's great. You've Can't been listening to, to Food News and Chews and Chef Bear Jeremy Ashby with another magical, wonderful dish. We'll see <laughs> you next good. week. Let's try these out. <laughs>